guys, welcome back to Charlie and Me, our camping vlog, season five, and we're on the road again. Well, when I say we're on the road, I mean the video channel is on the road. Unfortunately, I'm on my own today. Charlie isn't feeling the May West today, so he was very, very clingy to Deirdre today. It's Friday, and I'm just going to go away for one night, and it's a revisit. So I've left him here with Deirdre, so this is a first Charlie and Me video without Charlie. This is a revisit. We're going to a place called The Getaway in Dungarvan. It opened last year and I was there for one night last year. We took a look around. I'll put a link to that video here on this video. And this is a revisit. I was talking to Hillary, the owner. I'm just looking for somewhere to go on the winter nights and she's expecting a few in tonight. And she said, come on down. You're more than welcome. So without Charlie, it's just me. You can skip to here to miss the road footage, but I will tell you, when we turn off the main Waterford to Cork Road, I will show you all of the road footage into the getaway. It's about two kilometres off the beaten path, and if you've got a big rig, there are two different ways you can go, but if you've got a big rig, I think it'll be worth your while looking at this. Now, it is just a motorhome park, no tents, no caravans. There's lots to do if you're into walking and hiking, Otherwise, it's just for relaxing. They have a little nook where you can go and sit down and watch TV. There's Wi-Fi there. There's a bit of a camper's kitchen there. There are toilet facilities. Look, we'll tell you more when we get there. And you can look back on the first video that we did. So without further ado, let's start this thing up. I've got to stop at the shops on the way. And the next time I talk to you, we'll be at the getaway in Dungarvan. So we've made it to the getaway in Dungarvan. It's about 
a 10 minute drive to Dungarvan. On the, <coughs> excuse me, the main Waterford Cork Road, you turn off at a place called Bridgy Terry's. There's a signpost on the side of the road of a motorhome and a narrow. And it's about two or three kilometers you would have seen in the road footage. I wanted to show you all of the road footage. Just be careful, take your time. There is farming machinery and other road users, obviously. But when you get here, it's beautiful, it's peaceful. Now we have been here before. I have linked the video to here already, but I'm gonna just go. There's been a few changes. I wanna show you the nook. There's been a few changes there. And while it's bright, I just want to show you the view that we have from here on a beautiful day. So let's take this outside. I need to get a windsock and I'll show you the view and I'll show you the nook and I'll do a quick, just show you a quick look around because we have been here before. I just took a walk up to the highest point of the site. Now there are camper vans just checking in. Um, that's the rescue helicopter that's actually flying over us at the moment. I hate to hear that flying over because uh, it's normally not good news. But anyway, where we are, I mean, you can see that uh, in the distance here, is the Knockmeal Down Mountains. You could look, there are more walks and cycles in here, but the right there, that's the sea. That's the sea at Dungarvan, Ring. It's all 10 minute drive tops. You could do it quicker if you drive faster, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I know there are two new glamping tents going in here, hopefully. Uh, during this summer, I just turned the brightness up just here, kind of where the boulders are. There's going to be two glamping tents going in there with power. I can't wait to see them. This is a beautiful little picnic area. There's, do you know what I'd say? There's fairies here because uh, there's fairies everywhere. That's a Christmas tree. Can't wait for that to grow either. There's normally, there'll be during the summer, there's animals here. But look at this area here. You've got the uh, picnic table and that's available to everybody. Just come up here. Oh, it's, guys, if you want to relax, and what I love about, and you've seen the slogan, and actually I'll put their logo up here, and it's the getaway and breathe. Now take a listen to this. Between the cattle behind me on the working farm, the birds, ah, oh, lads. That's Dungarvan just down there. Now we've been here before, this is a revisit, so you can check out the video of when we were here before. But I wanna bring you down, there's been some changes to the nook and I'm hoping to come back down here later on if there's a few people using it, just to show you what the atmosphere is like, but just let me show you where the nook is. The nook is available to all campers. Remember, this is just a motorhome park. Now, when you come in here, I, love this place one it smells beautiful there's a local attractions book here there are photographs of when the campsite was being built in the kitchen area there is a kettle a microwave a toaster there's a little hot place so like if you're in a vw or a small van um, there's a kitchen here you can have coffee there's heaters that you can just turn on there's signs here saying if you're a bit chilly turn on the heater there's fairy lights. There's Wi-Fi in here, by the way. Uh, there's a guest book that they like you to sign. I think that's a Charlie and Me pen. It is a Charlie and Me pen. This gets lit most evenings, but if you just want to come in yourself to have a read or whatever, again, look at this. Pop on the heater. There's one up there. There's another one here. Dungarvan from the 1920s. Um, that's all this stuff is originally from here. They found them in the sheds. That I think is a straw bale wheelbarrow. Um, as I say, there's Wi Fi. I hope people come down here later on and they let me come in and just do a little video because this place is just, just actually, you know what I'll do? I'll, where's that one turned on from? I was going to turn it off. I don't know where she turned it on. We can turn it off later. But actually it's warm already with the heat from that. Wow. 
it's warm already. Anyway, right, got to get back up, got to cook myself a bit of grub, and then hopefully we can get back down here later on if there's a little bit of a sing song or a bit of atmosphere going on. Yeah, I love this place. I'm not going to bring you for a walk around the site because as I said, this is a revisit. You can go back and look at the first video, but I will turn the camera from where I am now and just give you a quick look um, of what things are here. This, by the way, is a wreath bed. Now, if you're using the chemical toilets here, it's got to be the green chemical, not the blue chemical. Uh, just down there, there's a dog run with water bowls and a safe area for the dog. It is a dog friendly site, as you can hear. That at the moment is the toilet, but there's a, a block being added. Toilets and showers are being added over the next couple of weeks. In fact, I think the builder is coming tomorrow, I think Hillary said. Um, that's where I was earlier on, just showing you Dungarvan, where that boulder is there. That's where the two tents are going to go, the two glamping tents. Um, and then that's just the public area. There's another few changes made up here, I believe. There's a secret garden up here. There's a stream running all the way along that fence there. There are plans down the road for two camping pods to go in here. But this is the secret garden. What I like about here is you can just lounge here and listen to this. A nice hot drink and then at night time when it gets dark the lights come on and you just sit here and uh, just let the day go this is not a campsite for children playing ball running amok it's for families that are into hiking cycling uh, again, as I mentioned in the first video, Bridgie Terry's, you can cycle down there and the guys will get your bikes back. There's places to deliver food to here. So it's the next morning, it's actually only 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. Um, what a night last night. We didn't, um, Hillary didn't open the nook, so I didn't get down to show you the atmosphere in that place uh, during the night time. There's six camper vans here, and they're all Heimers for some strange reason. It's not a club, it's not a group meeting, they just happen to be all Heimers for some reason. The Getaway and Breathe is their logo. Last night, I think I went to bed at... I think I started watching telly at about 7 o'clock and I think I turned off the telly at about 10. Finished watching Ozark season, whatever the recent season is, on Netflix. Anyway, all you could hear was birds. There might have been a bit of cattle herding going on because they got very loud for, for a few minutes as if they were walking down a pathway maybe in a field next to us. And it was beautiful. And then we heard one camper van come in late about 9 o'clock in the evening. Uh, slept like a log missed this guy something desperate it's just it's something we have spoke about charlie's only eight at the making of this video in uh, january 2022 and it is something we've spoke about that when he's gone and if charlie and me the channel is still going which hopefully it will be because we hope to do european trips and we'll cover our holidays in france this year but Gosh, I missed him. Just not being here. Getting to finish all of my biscuits yesterday without having to share. Getting to finish my supper late last night without having to share. Going to finish my breakfast without having to share. You missed the little geezer. Anyway, listen. 
details here and I'll put them up again, including a phone number. It's an online booking system. So you go to the website, you book online. Um, it's a fabulous place. It's been developed. It's not a year old until I think June of this year, 2022. Glamping um, pods going in, two TP tents going in. Um, eventually two pods here behind us. Since we were here last, she's changed the little secret garden. The nook has come on brilliant. <sighs> It's just a great spot. It gets thumbs up from us. Uh, um, this is not going to be a new thing, by the way. <laughs> it gets thumbs up, from, thumbs up from us. And we are going to come back here when it's it's busy during the summer. Um, sit out on the summer nights. Excuse me, I'm still tired because I'm just after waking up. Well, I'm not long awake. Right, that is it. I'm Aaron from Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. Um, thank you. And don't forget the podcasts with myself and Chris uh, on Wednesdays. Wherever you listen to your podcast, just search for The Camping Crew Podcast. From me, Aaron, stay safe. And if you see us on site, please do call over and say hi. Take care. Bye-bye.